Along with the warm weather and the osprey come the spring seed catalogs in the mail and that annual itch to get out of the yard to create some natural beauty. The Echo Landscape Alliance recently invited local professionals to talk about yard plans that can regenerate the environment. Here's a short look at that event. So oftentimes I go through the woods in, in order to learn about what nature needs. I do a lot of hiking, I do a lot of walking. And a lot of times um, I find myself asking, why is this tree here? I, 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 I dig deeply. <laughs> why is this tree here? And, and how, is it, how is it here? What, it, what, are, what has nature done that has created this beautiful natural setting? It really is a unique place to live. It's really a unique, beautiful environment that we live in. But I think one of the things that makes us particularly fragile is we're surrounded by so much water and we have so much water. Um, and we have, you know, these systems that are incredibly vulnerable to the changes in the population, the changes in, you know, just the, the from summer to fall to winter, you, you know what I'm talking about. It's been a lot. Um, we've heard bad news about Cape Cod. Yeah, okay, I'm sure you've all heard it before. Um, this is a couple that is doing their best to try and find answers, you know, how to keep waste out of the water system. Um, and, you know, I think this is an example of people thinking outside the box. These are, these are examples of uh, the water systems that we have here. Estuaries and the wetlands being some of the most, not only vulnerable, but incredibly biodiverse and rich uh, populations of plants and animals that we have here. So instead of thinking about what do I want, just me, what do I want on this property, maybe asking ourselves, what does the land need for me? What can I offer it? And I think that changes our thinking and our expectations of what we do on our properties. So I was just going to say quickly, your soil, I think it's something we don't think enough about. I think we look just at what's above the soil not so much what's below the soil. And what's below the soil is what really uh, helps a plant stay healthy, right? We need to have the soil be healthy in order for what is in our property to be healthy. And I have to say, I don't know about any of you, but I've never seen an unhealthy plant that was beautiful. So, you know, it's something that we often overlook. <laughs>